He's gonna get some surgery, I'm sure. That's not good. Wow, look at my hair. This is what I get when I put my hat on right after, right after getting out of the shower. I was excited today because it looks like there was some rain coming in, and that would mean the rattlesnakes are up, but it didn't come to my area. So I'm leaving snakeless. And it's a good thing because there is a call at a golf course right now for a gopher snake that appears to have eaten some golf balls. It happens, sometimes they think they're eggs and they'll eat them. So I'm heading out that way. Yikes, poor guy. Yeah. He's been there a while too. He's gonna get some surgery, I'm sure. That's not good. All right, we'll see how it goes. Now, this is not a good situation. This poor snake has had these golf balls in it for a while. And this is not able to get them out. I'm so sorry, I won't hurt you. So tomorrow, we're taking it down to see Burke and to see how this is gonna go. The snake may need, wow. May need to be euthanized, but we'll see. It's tricky, some of these snakes that live in urban areas like this, have all kinds of scars and messed up stuff, but it's a sweet snake. Hopefully we can get this worked out. All right, here he goes. Here's Liz, she's taking him. Hi, I'm Liz. <laughs> My name is Liz and I do the HR and background operations in Rattlesnake Solutions. And uh, Brian is my husband. Today we are going to take this snake who's eating golf balls to the vet and hopefully they can help him. Alrighty. All right, thank hey, you. Yeah, absolutely. All right, good luck. Yeah, we'll let you know how it does. Thanks. <laughs> this gopher snake swallowed two golf balls that you can see here. Tonight we're gonna be performing surgeries to remove them. Dude's waking up. So it's a public. Good morning, fella. So we got our little gopher snake here. He's been in recovery for a little while. We finally got him to eat a mouse, a uh, frozen thawed mouse, which is a little bit better than a golf ball, but <laughs> we've been giving him ceftazidime injections, which is an antibiotic injection um, regarding this kid being opened up and um, dealing with his little golf ball situation. So he's been getting these every three days. 
um, and he has two more injections after this one, so three total. Um, and uh, we're just going to keep taking care of him from that point on, but we haven't seen him pass any fecals yet, so that will be the ultimate test to see if this kid is doing good because we have not seen that yet and that is a big indicator that everything went well with the surgery so so you can see the bulge right there that's where the mouse is right now and that's exactly where the incision is as you can imagine because that's where the golf balls were sitting that's where the stomach is and uh, the surgery required us to open the stomach um so the question is if this hello <laughs> question will be if this kid is able to pass food so that'll be the ultimate test this kid was just fed yesterday um, but I have to give that injection, which is right there, intramuscular, which is right here, just along the spine. They have muscles that run all along the body, and we have to give it intramuscular. So I'm going to give that right now, um, and then uh, go from there. But this kid's got a little bit of a ways to go still, but as you can tell, we're acting a lot better, acting more like a snake, but still pretty skinny, so we'll see. Hang in there, buddy. I wish I had a good ending to the story, but unfortunately it doesn't have one. The golf ball was able to be removed and it looked like it was healing up, but just never really recovered. It did die a few weeks after the surgery. The place where the golf ball ended up in its body caused too much damage to its digestive tract and it wasn't a survivable situation, even though we were really hoping for it. So we might wonder why we even included this if it didn't have a happy ending. Well, there's often not a happy ending. This one certainly isn't. The conflict between development and wildlife in Arizona is a complicated and messy situation that for every win that we might have, there's going to be countless losses that we probably won't even hear about. And effort and care alone is not going to be something that makes a difference sometimes. I think it's really important to really show the reality of this. And maybe when you're out there, you see a golf ball laying out in the bushes, pick it up. Maybe you save an animal. And I really want to thank the Avian and Exotic Animal Clinic for your efforts here and your compassion.